Hello class 7, this is teacher Regina once again and today's topic is about calculation and mental strategies. First, let us discuss how to convert one metric unit to another. In the previous lesson, we discussed how to convert the length, mass, and capacity. So, we will go back about the units in length. So, we all know that 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meter. So, change from kilometer to meter, we need to multiply it by 1,000. And if we want to change from meter to kilometer, we need to divide it by 1,000. So, let us have an example. Change 3.8 kilometer to meters. So if we want to change it to kilometers to meter, we know that 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So we multiply it by 1,000. 3.8 multiplied by 1,000 is equal to 3,800 meters. Next, another given. Change 7,600 millimeters to meters. So we don't have direct value of meters to meters or millimeters to meters. So a 1 meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters. It means we need to divide it by 1,000 if we want to change the meter to millimeters. Okay. So it means 7,600 divided by 1,000 is equal to 7.6 meter. Let us have the mass. A 1 ton is equal to 1,000 kilogram. So, to change from tons to kilogram, we need to multiply it by 1,000. If you want to change from kilogram to tons, we, it means we need to divide it by 1,000. So, let us have another example. First given, change 0 0.8 tons to kilograms. So we all know that 1 ton is equal to 1,000 kilogram. So it means if we want to change from tons to kilogram, it means we need to multiply it by 1,000. So let us multiply the 0 0.8 times 1,000. It is equal to 800 kilogram. In other words, 0 0.8 tons is equal to 800 kilogram. Let us have another one. Change 4,200 kilograms into tons. So again, we all know that 1 ton is equal to 1,000 kilogram. So in this part, because we want to change the kilogram into tons, so we need to divide it by 1,000. So let us divide the 4,200 divide 1,000 is equal to 4.2 tons. In other words, 4,200 kilograms is equal to 4.2 tons. Let us go to capacity. We all know that 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So, to change from liters to milliliters, we need to multiply it by 1,000. And if you want to change from milliliters to liters, we need to divide it by 1,000. So, let us have an example for that. So first, change 
1.4 liters, 2 milliliters. So a 1 liter is equal to 1,000 ml. So multiply it by 1,000. So let us multiply the 1.4 times 1,000 is equal to 1,400 ml. Next, given, change 2,500 ml to liters. It means if a 1 liter is equal to 1,000 ml, to change it into liters from ml to liters, we need to divide it by 1,000. So we, need, we have now 2,500 divided by 1,000 is equal to 2.5 liters. In other words, a 2,500 ml is equal to 2.5 liters. The same thing here that 1.4 liters is equal to 1,400 ml. Now, let us discuss using a calculator. In our generation, we had two types of calculator that we used to see. Okay, this type is what we call the uh, classic calculator or the usual, the basic. And this one is what we call the scientific calculator. Okay, so the usual that we see now in our generation is these two types of calculator. Now, in our lesson, there are parts that we need to use a calculator. We need to know how to use the calculator. First one, in using a calculator, we need to know the four basic operation. What are the four basic operation in a calculator? The first one is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and also the division. These are the four basic operations that we can see using a basic calculator. So now, let us have an example how we will use a calculator. Work out the answer to this calculation. So, 15.3 plus 11.8 is equal. So, if you are using a calculator, you need to press this number one by one. So, what is the first one that we need to press is 1. Next to it is, let us press the 5. And next, of course, do not forget the point and then the 3. Okay, so we complete the first given. After that, go to the operation, which is the plus. After the plus is the next number, so you need to press it one by one also. So press the one, press the one again, and then point, and then eight. And the last thing that you need to press is equal. After you press the equal in the calculator, it will give you the answer like this. So it means that 15.3 plus 11.8 is equal to 27.1. Next, let us discuss about the order of operation. We discussed from the previous lesson what are the order of operation. Okay, this letter is in short, our order of operation is bid mass. What does it mean of each letter? What does each letter stand for in the order of operation? So when we say B, it means the first one. If you see a bracket, this one, the sign, a bracket, it means that is the first operation that you need to do or you need to calculate. Next, I is what we call the indices or the powers. So if you see after the bracket, you see the sign or the symbol. It means not only the second to the power, any indices. It means that is the second thing that you need to calculate. 
after the bracket indices, the next to it is the division. Okay. And next to division is what we call multiplication. So M star stands for multiplication. Then A stands for addition. And the S stands for subtraction. So in short, we call the order of operation to, so you will remember it easily, is bid mass. Okay. Now, the same thing if we use a calculator, a scientific calculator, okay? Let us use a scientific calculator to work out the answer to this calculation. So remember, in a basic calculator, you will not get the right answer, so you need to use a scientific calculator. So let us have a 2 times 4 plus 5 is equal to 13. So, if you press it in a scientific calculator, like what I show you, press 2 times 4 plus 5, it will show the screen this one equals 30. Okay, now I will explain using the bid mass. So, if we multiply this 2 times 4, because we have the multiplication and addition, and multiplication is the first one. Okay, so we have 8. 2 times 4 is equal to 8, then plus 5 is equal to 13. So I will use again the same number 2, 4, 5, but I will exchange the operation. Look at this one. So we have now 2 plus 4 times 5 is equal to 22. So if you press this in scientific calculator, it will give you this answer. So using the order of operation, as you see, here is the plus and here is the, uh, what they called it, multiplication. So I will show you again. Okay. So as you see, what we will do first is the 4 times 5. It means that is 20. Okay. And then add the 2 because like what I told you, if we follow the bid mass, the multiplication first. That's why 20 plus 2 is equal to 22. Next again. Okay. Next. This one. I will go back to this one. So 2 times 4 is equal to 8. And then add the 5. So, the answer will be like this. So, the same thing, like what I told you, that if you use the scientific calculator, it will give you the same answer. But if you use the manual, as in like you calculate it by yourself, you must use the bid must in order to get the correct answer. So, that's all for today. I hope everyone understand our topic and thank you for listening keep up the good work class hope to see you soon